Today we're going to talk about the peripheral nervous system. We'll talk about the characteristics of neurons and support cells and a little bit about organization uh, of the uh, nervous system. Peripheral nerve. Here we can see a nerve in the spinal column and we can see some dorsal root ganglia uh, and the peripheral nerve. And today we'll be talking about the peripheral nerve, but we will be talking about some ganglion uh, cells as well. Here on, in slide uh, 492, we see uh, nerve cell bodies. You can see the nerve cell bodies in through there and axons, myelinated axons running through here. Myelinated axons, you can see the, the myelin on either side. These are the cell bodies. You can see the nucleus, the initial substance, and the support cells around it. These are support cells in the ganglia. A ganglia is a group of neuron cell bodies. Here we see one of those. Here's this nucleus, um, the cytoplasm, uh, mitochondria, ribosomes, and this is also cytoplasm of this cell. These are uh, intermediate filaments that we see in the dendrites. So these are dendrites and these are axons from other cells mm -hmm. interacting with this particular nails, um, uh, nerve cell. You can see the ribosomes there and rough VR, which gives rise to the initial substance. If we look at slide 152 on the duodenum, we can see this big muscle layer in through here, and where we have, um, uh, between the longitudinal and circular layer of muscle, we see the plexus of nerves, in, which is our box plexus. And here we can see this is one nucleus, nucleolus, and a cell body. Uh, that we can see there, there's one there, there's another nucleus there and there. Here again we can see cell bodies and then some satellite cells around there, but these are the cell bodies between uh, the smooth muscle uh, cells, circular and longitudinal the smooth muscle layer. If we look at tellurin in blue, uh, in the muscularis external here, uh, we can see the, the cell bodies again. This is a nice big nucleus with a lot of uh, euchromatin and a fairly large nucleolus. This is our box plexus, which is responsible for Paracelsus. In contrast, if you go into the submucosa, but, but below the muscular submucosa, we see another plexus. This is the Meister's plexus. The Meister's plexus regulate uh, the smooth muscle that we see here in the muscular mucosa. That's what we see. Again, we can see again the our box plexus here, the muscularis externum, and then we see the mitral plexus, uh, which regulates the muscularis uh, mucosa in through there. These are some smooth muscle of a little artery that we see there. In this particular slide, we also see a ganglion cell. There's a nice ganglion cell right there uh, that's located uh, in the wall. Uh, the, this is muscle here, but this is in the wall of a cystic duct uh, coming out of the uh, um, out uh, of the bladder. Uh, again, this is uh, in the pancreas, I think, uh, and we can see a plexus of cell bodies. We also see a, a perineurium uh, around them as well. Here we see uh, nerves uh, going in through there. This is a cell nerve. Um, not the cell bodies, but the processes, these are axons uh, running through here, uh, but uh, 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 we can see several, we can see the, the perineurium going around each of these, which is the uh, blood external barrier. barrier. In this um, particular slide, we can see, uh, we saw cell bodies, but now we can just see um, myelinated axons coming in, and this is the uh, cleft between two adjacent uh, myelin sheaths. And in a myelin sheath, you have the swan cell wrapping around it. So this is a notarombia, um, as opposed to these guys that run at an angle here, which are the smith landman cliffs. A notarombia, smith landman cliffs, in through there. And you can see the axon going down through the center. The axon goes right beyond the notarombia. If we look at um, 
The one other is peripheral nerves with electron microscopic level. You can see the swan cell uh, and the myelin sheath and the axon inside. So this is uh, one swan cell surrounds one uh, one axon. In contrast, down here we see another swan cell uh, that has uh, uh, wrapped around, not in a myelin sheath, but still within its county pocket, uh, several axons. Uh, if it's unmyelinated, it will uh, it will encase several axons. But if it's myelinated, it only uh, myelinate one axon. So this is a different cell than that cell, um, and this one have multiple axons uh, surrounded uh, by its cytoplasm, as opposed to one by this one cell. Also, here we see uh, the perineurium. The perineurium. Uh, the perineurium. Uh, is involved um, in in uh, encasing uh, the nerve cell body and also interesting enough even though it's fibroblast it has these tight junctions the zonia occlutens uh, which will help maintain this barrier so it's a perineurium um, in muscle cells we see muscle the spermatic cord in through there you see uh, arteries and veins as well as lymphatics this is smooth muscle in through there. Uh, again, we can see lymphatic blood vessel, but in addition to that, we see these nerves. So there's a perineurium around through there, uh, and um, uh, there's just big nerves. There's another little piece of nerve in through there. Again, perineurium right in through there, in endoneurium in through there. Epineurium would be around the big thing. There's another nerve right here perineurium, perineurium that we see there in this spermatic cord. Uh, again, we can see the, uh, the perineurium through there and the wavy um, uh, cells. These could be swan cell nuclei, uh, likely it could be endothelial cell nuclei too. Um, but, uh, and you can see the axons going down through there, the swirling axon. There's another um, perineurium with uh, myelinated axons inside there. Uh, also in uh, hand, uh, this is the uh, skin, and we can see these persinian corpuscles. These persinian corpuscles are uh, nervous tissues, uh, nervous uh, pressure uh, detectors. Here we see sweat glands too, but we can see those persinian corpuscles, which uh, whenever it's compressed, it uh, ignites um, a signal in through there that goes to the nervous system to let you know you feel something. Uh, smooth muscle cells are innervated, and so we can see swan cell axon uh, making a cleft. Here you see the synaptic cleft between the axon uh, and the smooth uh, muscle cell body. More question from the didactic uh, midterm exam. Cell membranes are self-assemble Yes. Have membrane receptors that are specific but saturable? Yes. Have a negative net charge from sialic acid residues? Yes. Sugars give the negative charge. E is the answer. Question 12. Functions of membrane receptors include downregulation, which is an increased number of receptors. False. Downregulation is the decrease in number of receptors. Upregulation decreased response of a cell, false. Upregulation increases the response of a cell. Cell migration is one of the functions of receptors. C is the answer. Basic functions of the immune system is R2. Protect against foreign invaders into the body, yes. Prevent a germ-free environment in the body, false. It protects a germ-free environment. Enhanced carcinogens in the uh, body cells? False. It reduces the number of carcinogens in the body. Key steps in uh, combating infection include break the cycle of transmission? True. Kill the infectious agent? True. Decrease the host resistance? True. Answer is E, A, B, and C. Clonality, one characteristic of immune response, includes unique receptors on the cell surface. True. 
activation, enlargement, and DNA synthesis of responsive cell. True. One cell gives rise to others with the same receptors. True. The answer is E.